the Child Support Agency. I'm paying for a brief encounter, basically. That is your problem. One of the most controversial government agencies ever created. How much can I get out of this guy? Because I've had his baby. This is his own flesh and blood. I don't want to pay it. This is just used by an awful lot of vindictive people to get at their ex-partners. A lot of men think if they ignore us long enough, we'll go away. The system. If they want to use the ultimate sanction and lock me up, then so be it. We've got quite big teeth, and we don't go away. Television to talk about. Thursday, 9.30, BBC Two. The Promised Land, the award-winning documentary that touched America. The story of the great migration of more than five million black Americans who journeyed from the cotton fields of Mississippi to Chicago between the 1940s and the 1970s. I knew he was being mistreated, and I said, when I get wrong, I will not stay down here. They called it the Promised Land. And it was a motion and a movement as though this is a new day and we're in a new world. Fascinating human stories never before told. The Promised Land, tomorrow at 7.20 on BBC Two. Real life, real people. Powerful scenes from the world stage now on BBC Two. Tonight's fine cut examines the story behind one of the most significant events in 20th century China. Recalled memories. Four months into therapy, I started having flashbacks of abuse that had occurred. Dividing families. It's a mother's worst nightmare. I believed her. I knew that she wasn't making this up. Well, that's my family. I've been accused of something that's absolutely not true. Dividing the medical community. Therapists are creating, together with patients, memories that may be false. Divided memories. Fine cut next Saturday at 9 on BBC Two. The Child Support Agency. I'm paying for a brief encounter, basically. That is your problem. One of the most controversial government agencies ever created. How much can I get out of this guy? Because I've had his baby. This is his own flesh and blood. I don't want to pay it. This is just used by an awful lot of vindictive people to get at their ex-partners. A lot of men think if they ignore us long enough, we'll go away. The system. If they want to use the ultimate sanction and lock me up, then so be it. We've got quite big teeth. And we don't go away. Television to talk about. Thursday, 9.30, BBC Two. There's a coveted place in the world of music at stake now on BBC Two. It's time for the results of the Leeds International Piano Competition. and welcome back to Leeds Town Hall, where we are just minutes away from finding out who has won the 1996 Leeds International Piano Competition. The audience are making their way back, and very soon the international jury will come onto the stage with Fanny Waterman, who will announce the results. The prizes will be presented by Dame Janet Baker. And in just a moment, I'll be revealing the results of the People's Poll, who you at home want to win. So let's just remind ourselves of the six finalists we've heard over the last two nights.
really has been a terrific competition, hasn't it, Ian? It's been wonderful. We've heard a great deal of extremely distinguished piano playing. Have you got any final thoughts? Well, the Soviet Union may have collapsed, but its piano teaching certainly hasn't. It's interesting that of our six finalists, four were taught within what used to be the Soviet Union. Only the Chinese girl and the Italian boy were not taught in Moscow or in one of its satellite states. It's a pretty amazing statistic. And of course, a lot of Russian music as well. Nothing but. Um, earlier, I singled out um, Ilya Itin's performance of the Messian, the semi-finals, as being the really wonderful moment for me, the most moving thing. What about you? Any of those golden moments? Oh, I thought it was marvellous in Babakanian semi-final when after jumping around and playing all this high-energy tippet, he played a little simple Brahms intermezzo. That was magical. And, and also when Sa Chen came on and sat down and launched into a list Spanish rhapsody, this little girl who looks as if she should be doing her GCSEs, and there she is playing like an absolute wizard. Yeah. That was so touching. Terrific arrival for Sa Chen. Now it's time to unveil our own personal placings of the six finalists. In case you're wondering, Ian and I have kept our thoughts from each other until now. I'll jump in the deep end first. Here comes my personal choice. Uh, I've got uh, Ilya Itin, obviously, uh, up at the top there. I don't know how controversial that's going to be. He was my clear winner. Uh, Magyar, Babakhanian, Roberta Kominati, Ekaterina Apekesheva, and then uh, Sa Chen. Any thoughts on my list then, Ian? Well, I think you've got very good taste for your first three. I, I think you must have been sneaking a look over my shoulder. I think you've got <laughs> those spot on. Four, five and six, well, I see that differently. I, I have a different view and I think we'll just have it coming up now. Yes, Apekasheva I've put fourth. I thought she was extremely musical. I liked her reading much more than Kominati. So we clearly, we clearly hear uh, Rachmaninoff too differently, Howard. Yes, I, I like that little Italian touch there. Uh, with the, with the Yours is in a rather fetching yellow, isn't it, your, your list? But we agree on the Ilya E team very no, much. Oh, we so. do, yes. Fantastic. I think there's no, no discussion about that for me. Yes, terrific. Well, it's all very well Ian and I choosing a winner, but far more significant is the result of the viewers' and listeners' poll. We had the lines open for one hour from the end of the finals, during which time 26,439 of you rang in. And this is the result. Well, there is one clear leader. Um, almost half the vote goes to Ilya Itin. That's an absolutely brilliant result for him. Madhya, Kominati, Abakhanian, Sarchen, and Ekaterina Apekesheva. So we don't quite agree with either of them. No, <laughs> we don't, don't really. Quite agree with them. But uh, it is rather marvellous. Obviously, Ilya Itin's uh, Rachmaninoff really uh, impressed. It obviously deal. touched the nerve, yes, and I think very deservedly so. I think it had all the great qualities. I mean, as you said earlier, it is between two and six. It's it's quite difficult, although everybody seems...